This test is used to determine the percentage of silt, clay, and sand in a soil. To conduct the test, a representative sample from the soil pile is placed in a number 10 sieve. The soil is passed through the screen by shaking the sieve. With some samples, particularly those that contain clay, you may need to break up the soil lumps with your hand. Drying the sample before sieving will make this step easier. Once you have sieved a representative sample, you need to reduce the size of the sample to one cup. This will be used for testing. To do this, shake the collection pan gently to form an even layer on the bottom of the pan. Next, quarter the pile and throw away the opposite corners. Mix the remaining quarters together and repeat this process until you have approximately one cup of soil remaining. Place the soil in a sturdy cup or container. Next add water to the sample and stir it until it develops the consistency of thick gravy. Carefully pour the soil into the jar until the mixture is between 1 and 2 inches deep. Tap the jar on a hard surface and give it a twist. This will cause any excess water to rise to the top. Mark the jar at the soil line. This line represents 100% of the prepared mixture. You should now fill the container with water, replace the lid, and shake it vigorously until all the solids have become suspended. Place the jar on a flat surface and note the time. The particles of soil will begin to settle immediately. First the sand, then the silt, and finally the clay. After 30 seconds, place a line on the jar at the top of the settled material. At the 3 minute mark, place another line at the top of the settled material. You will now be able to estimate the percentage of sand, silt, and clay in your sample by placing a ruler up against the jar. In this case, the jar was filled with the material to a height of 2 and 1 8 inch. The first line was drawn at 1 and 1 quarter inch after 30 seconds. This represents the sand portion of the soil sample. The second line was drawn at 1 and 1 half inch after the passage of 3 minutes. The silt settled during the period between the first and second mark, or over the intervening 2 and 1 half minute period. Therefore, the silt added one quarter inch to the settled material in this test. It is assumed that if we waited long enough, all of the clay would have settled, and the settled material would have reached the two and one eighth inch mark. If this occurred, the silt would have added five eighths of an inch to the settled material. The equations on the left of the screen illustrate how these measurements can be converted to percentages of sand, silt, and clay in this sample. These percentages can be used to determine if the soil is granular or either cohesive or granular cohesive. In this case, the soil is either cohesive or granular cohesive because the silt and clay concentration in the soil exceeds 15%. The percentages can also be plotted in a USDA textural classification chart to determine the soil type. In this case, the soil is determined to be a sandy clay loam which can be a class B or C soil.